Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Gabby and today we are doing another perfume haul. This time, guys, I have no fairs. No fairs. I know usually I do have at least one. No. Everything that I have in here is absolutely amazing. Some of them were blind buys, some of them I've tested before. We have a, a few that were gifted to me. But everything is just amazing. Like I'm really, really surprised and I'm so happy and uh, so excited to share everything with you so before we start if you like this video don't forget to pick thumbs up subscribe to my channel and now let's jump in all right we are gonna start with something that i've tested and immediately i knew that i have to have it i just loved it and i told you that i'm gonna get it paco rabanne olympia solar this is obviously the box i really like this box so let me tell you i got just a 30 ml because all of the other ones that have Olympia um, are 30 ml and I just like to have a whole family all the same size. This is the bottle for the 30 ml. The um, big one is just going to have a black cap. But besides that, I really like this. Like, it's so nice. I really like the bottle. And the scent, it's, it's good. It's good. Finally, we're having a designer scent that actually smells amazing. So, we have Olympia Solar Notes. Opening, orange peel, mandarin orange and orange blossom. In the middle we have tiani flower, um, solar notes, white flowers and oak moss. And then the dry down we have ilang ilang and benzoin. Let's spray it. It smells so good. Like, it smells so good. To be honest, doesn't really smell like the original, especially because the original has vanilla and like it's a salty vanilla and this one doesn't have any vanilla it doesn't have any salty notes is this sweet white floral mixed with yellow flowers like you're definitely getting orange blossom mixed with some ylang ylang it has something solar obviously it has solar notes in here it's a bit of tiari flower it's very tropical it smells like tropical flowers but sometimes um, when people are saying, oh, it smells like tropical flowers, it smells like sun, sun tan lotion. No. And it's sweet. And it has something a bit refreshing. Maybe it's that, uh, maybe, probably, is that orange peel and mandarin orange. It's such a good scent. Like, it's such a good scent. Right now, it's actually pretty, pretty okay today. Because, you know, in here we had like two days when we're all melting and now it's just like freezing cold. So I'm waiting for a day when it's not going to be that cold so I can wear this one. Not going on any other holiday, but this one is definitely like holiday appropriate. It's such a good scent. I can't really tell you about Lasting Power and Siage because I've tested it in the airport and I was like, yes, yes, yes. Oh my God, it's amazing. I need to buy it. I got here. I order it and I love it. I love it. I would say test it before you buy it just because um it's a brand new one it's just been released and it's pretty expensive i feel like the 30 ml it's 50 pounds i got mine for 30 something from latino it, they had a sale going on but being a new release it's you know pretty pricey but it's good it is good i'm really really happy it reminds me a bit of um alien goddess like i like that one but it didn't wow me at all this one as soon as i put this one on my screen i was like oh my god yes 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 i need that it's such a good one guys it's such a good one it has a bit you know in the background of like the original olympia like you can tell that they're related somehow they're like second cousins okay they're not brother and sister they're second cousins but it still is not that like salted, um, vanilla is not that. It's such a beautiful one. I love it. Absolutely love it. So happy to have this on my collection. Can't wait to wear it. So the first scent that we have in here is from Paco Rabanne and this one is Olympia Solar. Next, let's move on to a fragrance that was gifted to me. Now, before you start, you probably know, I don't talk about fragrances if I don't really like them. Like if someone is gifting me something, I'm telling them all the time. First, usually I don't really accept. Like, I'm looking on the website and... Mm, no. But with these guys, I said, why not? 
This brand is called Sniff and I like the fact that they are like vegan, they are cruelty free. I, I was like, why not? Let's give it a go. I told them, listen, if I don't like it, I'm not going to present it. I'm not going to talk about it. Easy as that. This is what I do with every single brand that I collaborate with. And they sent me actually other two perfumes. The other two, I liked, but I wasn't like crazy about them. But with this one, I'm just, yes, like, yes and i feel like the notes don't make justice for this fragrance because you would expect something else when in reality it smells like completely different another thing that i like about them they're giving you a sample they're giving you a sample you can test it if you don't like it send it back but with this one i feel, I feel like you're gonna like it it's not um expensive i think it's like 60 60 pounds uh for the bottle it's not bad that is the bottle is very like Instagrammy, you know. I like I like the box that is magnetic. It's very Instagrammy, like come on. It's very like for like I don't know Instagram pictures and things like that. But the scent, like I said, this one I didn't really, really, really like it. And it's here in the video. So this one is called obviously from Sniff. This one is called Sweet Ash. When I saw the name, I was like, God, oh, it's gonna be an incense perfume, it's gonna be like a very, very smoky perfume. Then I looked at the notes. And I got very confused. And then I smelled it and I was even more confused. Sweet Ash has notes. Balsamic fir, moss, juniper, vanilla, tonka bean, bergamot, and patchouli. When you look at these notes, you're gonna feel like it's an aromatic, sweet aromatic scent, right? Wrong. When you first spray it, it is something aromatic, okay? But in the same time, I'm getting this like incense. It's not, it's not just the name. This like peppery, almost, almost incense -y scent, but still aromatic. Like opening, I'll say, ooh, ooh, it's a bit incense. -y. It doesn't have any incense. It doesn't have any pepper. I'm smelling black pepper with some incense and then something a bit sweet and aromatic. But then, in the dry down, let me spray it on my skin actually. That's the opening. A bit peppery, a bit aromatic. Again, doesn't have any pepper. I don't know why I'm getting that. This is what I'm getting. But then in the dry down, it's getting very sweet, still aromatic, and very airy. Like, I really like it. I really, really, really like it. This one is on, and it's magnetic. I love, I love that. I will do this all day, like generally all day. And it's just getting like sweeter and sweeter. I saw on Fragrantica that some people said it smells like Baccarat Rouge, and no. Like, yes, it's airy. It has that like airiness, yes. But it's aromatic for sure. And it has something like a bit citrusy, but a bit incense in the same time. It's such a complex scent. Like, I was I was generally not expecting that. I was not, like, when I saw the box and the bottle, I was like, okay, it's going to be a sweet vanilla scent. The name Sweet Ash, I was like, can't really be a, a sweet vanilla scent. But, like, the packaging, this is what, you know, gave me. Like, it's super Instagram, girly. Listen, listen, this thing... This thing is good. Like, this thing is, like, niche, niche quality. Like, I really like it. Everything that... It still has a bit of, like, peppery thing going on. It's no pepper. But it has it. This is every sweet, aromatic... I love it. I genuinely love it. Like, I'm so, so happy that they sent me this one. Like I said, they sent me other two. I was okay. They're fine. Okay. But I was like, mm. I'm not gonna include them in the video. I'm really sorry. I'm not gonna include them. And then I sprayed this one. This was the third one that I tested. I was like, ooh, wait, wait, wait a second. I am gonna include them in my video because this is amazing. Yeah, absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. In love. Um, I feel like they need more attention. Yeah, they, they deserve more attention. The second scent that we have here is from Sniff, and this one is Sweet Ash. Next, let's move on to another scent that I had a travel size and when I got the full bottle I was like yes, 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 I needed it because I used that travel size, it was a 10ml, used it up completely, 
I had just like two men left and they took it with me on holiday. I'm just in love, okay? We have from Marty Mikalif Spiritual. I talked about this one because like I said, I mentioned it in a couple of videos. I had that 10 ml um, automizer and I was just in love. And I have that full bottle, full bottle. Um, that is the bottle, okay? It's the same as Glamour. That one is obviously gold, this one is silver. And the scent is absolutely amazing, especially for the summertime. We have spiritual uh, notes, same story. Same story as the previous one. The notes don't really reflect how this perfume smells. We have bergamot and pink pepper. Middle, we have jasmine and cedar. And right down, we have ambergris, benzoin, and vanilla. I don't understand how this one doesn't have any fruits, because for me, it's like very fruity, like herba pura, kirke, that type of like fruity scent. But then you're getting something super airy as well. And you're definitely smelling the bergamot as well. Again, this perfume, for some reason, is compared to Baccarat Rouge. Generally, like right now, everyone is comparing everything to Baccarat Rouge. Like, if it's a bit airy, it's Baccarat Rouge. It's a bit sweet, it's Baccarat Rouge. Like, no, not everything smells exactly like Baccarat Rouge. Again, it has that Baccarat Rouge everything going on. But it's definitely a fruity perfume. It's like a bit of that Baccarat Rouge airiness with um, the fruity notes from Herba Pura and then it has its own character as well, everything mixed together. It's so good, like it's so good. <sighs> Being airy, when you spray it, it feels super refreshing, but still it's not necessarily a freshy. It has, it's dynamistic. I do not believe this doesn't have any fruits. I do not believe that, okay? It's fruity, but it's not like super, super like, condensed like fruits like too much too sweet no no it's just like the perfect balance i went to cyprus i took that 2ml left with me and i just loved it i used it like the whole day it does last it does project we have 46 degrees i was sweating and i could still smell myself so this is good stuff okay this is good stuff absolutely love it um emi Khalif, spiritual Okay, let's move on to another and probably the last summer scent that we have in here and something that I kind of regret I didn't buy early and they didn't take with me on holiday because it's absolutely amazing. So we have from Simone Andreoli, you know I already have three perfumes from Simone Andreoli, all of them summer scents. This one is Pacific Park. I had my eyes on this one for quite a long time. I was like, do I need, do I really need another one? Because I have Samplosion, which is um, this like super fruity, um, sweet scent, and you can definitely smell the mango in it. Then I have Leisure in Paradise, that is extremely, extremely sweet, concentrated pina colada. And then I have Malibu Party in the Bay, which is lime and pineapple. Do I need another one? Yes, I do. Pacific Park is amazing. Let me tell you the notes we have. Just listen to the notes. Opening. Pear, black currant, and mandarin orange. Sounds interesting, okay. Middle, fruity notes, cotton candy, and lily of the valley. Dry down, caramel, white mask, and vanilla. This perfume. Hmm. This perfume is just amazing. It has something that not lots of perfumes have when they are almost like two layers. Like the base layer is definitely like vanilla and caramel and like cotton candy and it's sweet and syrupy and thick. And then the top layer, it's something very airy, citrusy and fruity. I love it. I absolutely love it. Simona Andreoli perfumes retail for around 115, which is not bad, okay? Because if you buy designers full price, 100 ml, they're gonna be around 100 pounds. This 100 pound, 100 ml, 110, 115, and this niche, like oh, I love it, I love it, I love it so much. Like if you ever tested any of the Simona Andreoli perfumes, the ones that I have, and you like them. Check this one out, out as well because it's just... Oh, it's amazing. It's amazing. It's amazing. Absolutely love it. 
why I didn't buy this one before? I know why, because I said I have three of them from this company. I don't need another one. I don't need to buy another one. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Now I'm even more interested in this in this brand. All of the ones that have, like I said, the summery fragrances, they do last, but they don't last like, they're not like a beast mode. Like they're gonna project quite well. They're gonna last maybe four or five hours and then they're kind of getting close to the skin and you have to respray them but this is what normally happens with summer scents so i can't complain because most summer scents are gonna do that but this one is just, 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 just so tropical so unique so that is very unique but i like the two layers you know i like how i can smell in here i have the sweet caramel and in here i have this airy fruitiness thing going on Love it, absolutely love it. Pacific uh, Park from Simone Andreoli. Okay, let's move on to more a indie perfume house that I absolutely love. And I'm talking about Meleg perfumes. Matthew Meleg, the owner and the creator of Meleg perfumes, he sent me in the past a few bottles and then he sent me all of his samples. I think all of them, pretty much all of them. And when I smelled this perfume, I was like, I need to buy it. Like, I need to buy it. He's creating all of these amazing fragrances. I need to buy, like, pay for um, a fragrance of his because they're just amazing. And this one absolutely stole my heart. It's probably the most unique, one of the most unique perfumes I have in my collection. And it's going to be very hard for me to describe it because the notes they are a bit weird. Like, some of them, they're like, mm, and some of them are like, are you sure they're gonna work together? And they do. Like, they're absolutely amazing. This one is Golden Guy. That is, I love his bottles and his boxes, like that wooden box. Everything is so, you know, well done. You can tell that he's passionate about it. And I, I just love it. I just love everything that he creates. Like I said, I got this one. I, I bought it because I had to. I just had to. Golden Guy, this is the bottle. Has notes let me tell you like this perfume needs to be known okay Mo most more people need to know about this perfume we have fragrantica is completely wrong about the notes because i looked in there and i was like no this is not not what i'm smelling and then i went on his website and i saw the notes i was like yes this is what i'm smelling so the notes i got from his website we have pipe tobacco chambord black uh, blackberry and raspberry liquor Whiskey, gin, tobacco, cedarwood, rose absolute, tonka bean, and bourbon vanilla. This is a scent that you can definitely wear summer evenings as well. But you can wear it all year round. I do not know how to describe to you this perfume. It's just, it's just, it's just so unique and so good. I'm getting. I'm getting everything basically like I'm getting the tobacco for sure bit of rose but then I'm getting this mix of raspberry and gin I never knew I like that like this is what I'm getting the most let me spray on my skin because on paper I can see that it smells a bit different and on my skin is just like magic so have it or should I spray let's spray here Yes, this one needs skin. This one definitely needs skin. Yes, it's this raspberry gin with some tobacco in it. Bit rosy, a bit woody as well. It's such a unique fragrance. Like who would think that whiskey and gin and raspberry liquor and I know rose would work together. Like gin and rose. What? yes it's such a unique scent if you're not afraid of a bit more like different fragrances not necessarily your mainstream perfume check this one out like 100 check this one out he has samples i do believe he has samples on his website get a sample of this like opening you're not getting that raspberry that much but then when it dries down on my skin it's mostly that gin and raspberry but it's still dark and seductive also fizzy in the same time like that gene it's fizzy and that's why i'm saying that it can be worth in my opinion in the summer nights as well 
is such like such like opening it's 8 out of 10 middle and right down is like 11 out of 10 like absolutely adore it it's such a unique scent it's just if you like different but not it's, it's not necessarily this like super different fragrance you know that um you're not gonna like that just a few people are gonna like it no no i just feel like it's a very unique one but lots of people are gonna like it it's such a good one you just have to check it out just just get a get a sample grab a sample you need this you need this in your collection it's gin raspberry and then some tobacco in there and just oh, amazing um golden guy from melic perfumes absolutely stunning you have to try this okay let's move on to another scent that basically youtube made me buy it made me blind buy it and i almost bought it for the full price because yes i'm doing things like that and i know it just got popular at one point here on youtube i feel like um not feel like i know that like some people received it as pr which is totally fine and i was kind of skeptical you know i was like is it actually that good like is it good or are they saying that just because they receive it and it's an expensive perfume i got from lorda parfum ambre platine now i got this one from sea sense i'm buying from sea sense lots of like most of the times um if they have it i'm buying it like if i'm looking for a fragrance and i'm finding it on sea sense i'm gonna buy it there because you can't beat their prices like best prices ever 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 if from uh, if you're from the uk check them out not sponsored nothing like that i'm buying from them i just love the website okay this one was unboxed and it was how much was this one i think it was like 100 pounds less than the full the retail price and i couldn't find it anywhere just on the official website i was like okay okay you have it i'm gonna grab it, it was the last one Ambre platine is a fragrance i do really really like but i was not really expecting that okay it smells a bit different than how other people described it we have first of all let's take a look at the bottle the bottle it's so heavy like this cup you can you, you cannot believe how heavy it is you can tell that it's extremely high quality everything about it is high quality i don't have a box i know how the box looks like but I'm extremely happy with the bottle. Now, the notes. Let me tell you about the notes. We have opening. Almond, mandarin, orange, and bergamot. Middle, we have cinnamon, pink pepper, rose, and jasmine. And right down, we have caramel, amber, tonka bean, and vanilla bourbon. Um, is vanilla bourbon? No, I'm, I'm, no, no, I'm wrong. It's vanilla and amberwood. Amberwood. I can't read. Anyway. Something that nobody tells you, everyone is describing this as a gourmand, and I would agree and disagree. When I looked on Fragrantica, people were complaining about the fact that it's very incensey. And then I sprayed it, and I was like, guys, this is not incense. This is the pepper. This is the pink pepper. When you spray it, it's very peppery. I like it. I like pepper in perfumes, but it's like very peppery. But then the dry down, it's getting sweeter and sweeter, and you're definitely getting a sweet, creamy amber with some cinnamon. Like, I do really like it. I will not classify this one as a gourmand. For me, a gourmand is to be literally lira or italica. Like, that's a gourmand for me. But if you like amber, and if you like sweet amber perfumes, like you don't mind some amber here and there, you're gonna like this one. Again, that incense thing that people were talking about for me is the pink pepper 100% and it's gone in like after the first 10 seconds. It's a very kind of like thick, syrupy amber. This is what I'm getting with some cinnamon and it's sweet. I do really, really like it. It's definitely appropriate for fall and winter, especially fall, okay? For me, it's not a gourmand. 
it's still a very very nice perfume like I'm, I'm happy I'm generally happy that I bought it um but for me Sun is really a good month but it's good like good you know if you like sweet amber as in take Grand Soir from uh, MFK make it thicker make it sweeter and add some cinnamon on top and then the opening you're getting um you're getting some uh, pink pepper as well but just in the opening this one it's good like normally me amber mm -mm, we don't like each other but with this one absolutely love it like, i really really like it we have to go past those like 10 seconds after 10 seconds it's just amazing amber platine from lorga parfa okay two more to go and they're both from zershoff we have something that i want for for the longest time and i was telling myself you don't need it you don't need that one you don't need it no 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 la capitale from zershoff we are getting here a sleeve i have to show you like the whole presentation because come on it's zershoff it deserves and then you have a box and then obviously i'm just gonna put this on the floor we have another box like these boxes are just and then you're getting the bed okay and the fragrance is just ha ah, ha resting me here la capitale from zerjov pretty popular uh, i said i don't need this one because it has similar notes and it does remind me of mula mula from byron the the biggest difference is La Capitale is going darker and deeper. Mula Mula is staying fluffy and sweet. But just, I don't know. I was just feeling it. Like, I just I just wanted it. So, I got it. We have notes. Opening, strawberry, caramel, peach, and labdanum. Uh, middle, we have leather, saffron, amber, ginger, and rose. And right down, we have purple vanilla and benzoin. Let me spray it here. Mm hmm. <laughs> Like, in Mula Mula, it has also peach and strawberry, but I'm getting mostly the peach in there. In La Capitale, I'm getting the strawberry more than the peach. You're getting this, like, fluffy, sweet strawberry, not sugary sweet, not artificial strawberry, just, like, normal, regular strawberry. You know, like, strawberries in general, they're sweet, but not, like, as sweet as they are in um, flavor thing. And then you're definitely getting a bit of caramel, a bit of amber, the burble vanilla, yes. Like, it's this mix, it's like super sweet, a bit of amber with vanilla, with caramel, and you know, getting the fluffy fruits on top. And you can smell the peach, but you can definitely sm smell the raspberry. This is what I'm getting. And then in the dry down, in the dry down, it's not listed, okay, but I'm getting some oud. Don't know why, don't ask me why, I'm not the only one, I saw Fragmatica, okay, I saw, I'm not the only one. I'm getting some oud. Like I said, that's similar, I would say Mula Mula is the daytime, uh, La Capitale is the nighttime. In my opinion, they're like similar, but I wanted it, so yeah, here we have it. I just love it. Um, didn't wear it yet. I need to wear it and I'm gonna let you guys how it performs and all of that. But usually with Zerjov, I never had problems. Like I never had problems with the sillage, with the projection. They're just good. So um, the scene that we have here, it's La Capitale from Zerjov. Right, and the last one. The last perfume that we have in here, it's a very, very, very expensive perfume that I really wanted and i got it and it was a blind buy because this is what we do we blind buy very expensive things anyway i got it on sale i hope it's still on sale on old beauty it's just a 50 ml it's still very expensive but normally it's way more expensive so some discount you know some discount yes please we, we want some discount i'm talking about symphonium obviously from Zershoff. This time we're having a white box and then I need to be very careful with this because I told you it's so damn expensive. It's ridiculous. 
it was a blind buy and I, I was just like, <gasps> because this one has a wood note, not just one, two wood notes. And I was like, I hope, I hope it's gonna be something that I like and I absolutely adore it. That is the presentation. Yeah, like that. Just look. This is like crocodile type of skin. I love it. I just love it. Like, come on. I'm getting a little card and then just... It has like a satin bed. Like, look at this. So, like, my bed is not that fancy. It's just amazing. Amazing. Let me just move everything here. We have bottle in here. Everyone probably already knows how Symphonium looks like. This is a chocolate fragrance. And I want to try more chocolate perfumes. And I, I just, I just had, I just have to have it, okay? Uh, people were saying like, to be honest, the one person that made me buy this one, I think was Greta. Pretty, pretty sure it was Greta, because I got other perfumes because of her, like it's, it's just her fault. And I was like, I need it, I need it, I need it. Okay, I'm gonna buy it. If you're interested, All Beauty, it's on sale, okay? It's on sale on there. Symphonia has notes opening orange and then mandarin orange. Middle, we have chocolate and cardamom. Dry down, we have Madagascar vanilla, le, o le ocean, le ocean, le la lao, I can't pronounce that. From lao, from lao, okay? Oud. And then Thailand oud and then musk. Lao, 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 I can't, I'm, I'm trying, I can't. From Lao, okay? From the, from the country Lao, oud. Oud from Lao. Speechless. What can I say? Opening, I smell the fragrance that smells like this in the opening. And that's uh, Forbidden from um, Aaron loved the opening but then the dry down i've tried it okay i've tried i've tried i've tried was getting too masculine for me opening is the most but the most realistic chocolate orange that you can find like not even like chocolate orange doesn't smell that this realistic it's chocolate it's not cacao the orange is not like vitamin c supplement no it's absolutely stunning like i just love it some people i know some people don't want to pay that price for chocolate orange i didn't pay that like full full price i still pay like a lot, a lot. but it's so good and yes you are having wood and you can smell it in the dry dump but it's nothing animalic it's nothing like barnyard no it's nothing too Middle Eastern, no, it's just the base. It's just to um, give this fragrance, you know, a whole body. I love it. I just love it. Like, I can't, I can't wait to wear this one. I need, I need an, ev an event. I need something. I can't just wear this one to work. Like, I need something. I need an occasion because this is absolutely stunning. <gasps> I love it. I just love it. I have other like chocolatey, orangey perfumes in my collection, but this one is just the best. That is really like the chocolate, chocolate, but chocolate orange, because you're definitely getting the whole thing. And I will not be scared of the wood. Like generally, I will not be scared. It's nothing too much. If you don't mind some wood in your perfumes, you know, again, I'm not the biggest fan of wood. You are gonna love this thing. Try it at least. Try, don't, don't, don't do what I did, okay? Don't blind buy this thing. Um, but if you smelled it before, if you know you love it, check um, All Beauty because they have it on sale. So yeah, the last scent that we have in here is Symphonium from Zerjaf. And that was it for today, guys. That was it. That was a long haul. Like, that was a long haul. I talked way too much. And um, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope uh, you're going to let me know in the comments down below if you ever tested any of these perfumes. Um, I'm going to leave links, names, everything in the description box, like always. Um, and yeah, that was it for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to the big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. And like always, I'm going to see you in my next one. Bye-bye.